What the shit is this? Okay, I believe this is us. Ah, uh, hello everybody, welcome to brand new thing on the channel. This is Hyperlight Drifter. Or, as I prefer to think of it, it is actually Midden's the prequel. This is, this is uh, Nomad, before he found the talkative revolver, setting off on his little adventure. No, it's not actually. This is again by Heart Machines. And, um,. Something that has been on my agenda to play for quite some time. And, uh... A few people have asked for it. I know uh, Night Margin, who made the excellent, um... One-Shot, cares a great deal for this game. He really likes, uh, this character. We don't need to heal yet, we're, we're good. Um... And I've I've been really wanting to play this for a while because it it's very it's very pretty looking. I've been following it for years, and uh, only recently just managed to get a hold of it. You can thank the amazing uh, Patreon, at least in part for that. I would like to say that it contributed in some degree. And yeah, so this this is it. This is um this is the world. Now this game is apparently quite. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't do that. Um, oh, so he runs to wherever the mouse is. Okay. Um, I think we can figure this out. We just need to. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
health. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so I know I know pretty little about this game, other than that, uh, yeah, it looks it looks pretty pretty, pretty pretty beautiful. Apparently, it the game would prefer that you play it using a control pad, but oops, I'm not a fucking scrub. I don't do control pads, man. Control pads are for consoles, and I am not a consoler. So, this game apparently is quite minimal in terms of uh, storyline. A lot of this is going to be kind of up for interpretation. Ping the HUD. What does that mean? Oh, just to bring the HUD up, I guess. Okay. Check our health. Cool. And this is going to be almost entirely blind. The only thing I've done is start this game up to make sure that it actually works. What is that? Ah, what's this? Aha, good. We did it, look at that, we did it. Yeah, pretty much blind. At least in all the ways that we're likely to consider being meaningful. Uh, but it has made, I guess, an interesting first impression on me. Did we get a gun? Gun. I want a gun. Oh, we, we killed the skeleton. Whoops. Need to be careful because I know you can jump off the edge. Yeah, this game, I don't know if it's because it is a, a game that's kind of geared. Oh, look at that. Pew. For consoles or what. But. It seems to have a little bit of a roughness about it on PC. Um, like, I'm running it in a window. Oh shit, don't do that. No magic, crazy person. Oh, we can chop that down, look at that. Not sure there's a reason to do that, but we can do it. Um, That's a cool effect, I like that. It's beautifully animated, this. Really beautiful. Um, yeah, so... So what do we do now? I guess we just have to jump over, right? Oh shit. Fighting. Good. Um, it has a little bit of kind of some weird, we'll call it eccentricities, for lack of a better a better name. Um, like, yeah, playing in a window, it's completely borderless. There's no window on it at all. Like, no handles. Seems a bit strange. And um, the mouse seems to go out of sync, which is a bit strange. Um, you can run it in full screen, but you don't seem to have any options to change the resolution or anything like that. They're all pretty minor things. I mean, I can certainly live with, with that kind of stuff. It just seems a bit, a bit strange. But yeah, this is this is quite a, a game that's had a little bit of a, a, a cult effect, you could say. What's this? Can we get this? Uh, but I've, I have been told it is quite difficult, so... This may be a bad idea. Rockin'. I'm still trying to figure out the flipping buttons. I keep pressing the wrong thing. It's not encouraging. I think there's. I think there are secrets to find as well. But let's maybe not worry about that right now. Because we'll probably just get ourselves killed. And I don't really want to do that. Not right now. So this is also a nice test for the new recording thing. Because this game... When I first started recording it, I was looking at the, the opening. Which, as you saw, had that crazy kind of glitchy effect. When Nomad here was being sick on the floor. Like a dirty street drunk. Um, and... As a result, I thought, oh god, it isn't recording right. Who the fuck's in charge of that? 
But it wasn't to do with that at all, actually. It was just um, supposed to look like that. So what, do we, what can we take from what we're seeing? We're seeing some destroyed robots, some nice flowers. Everything's kind of overgrown and somewhat serene. Somewhat peaceful. And we've got a little thing following us around. I don't know what the deal with that guy is. It's like a... It's like a super meat boy for our hero. Our young hero. Oh wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Well, I guess that's where we're going then, is it? To civilization. No man's just been out of the shops, you know. Before he before he got his uh, talkative revolver, he used to do his own groceries rather than just rely on it appearing from nowhere in the time space continuum. Oh, it's um, that's the effect I'm talking about right there. Nomad being sick on the floor, and it's raining from the floor. Interesting. Oh boy. Beasts. Oh, who's this guy? Did he save us? I don't feel saved. The game did save, but I don't think that's what he had in mind. Oh, look at that, we're in his bed. Oh, Nomad. You classy. We just call him Drifter. What's he doing? He's playing with a bomb. Oh, we got a map. Weird. Look at that. Oh god, this looks really confusing. Bloody hell. I have no idea. Oh look, it says. Oh, who's that good looking boy in the mirror? Oh, it turns the lights off. Ha 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 ha. Let's turn them back on. We'll just wreck this guy's house while we're here. He's left us in here. Oops. Oh yeah. Q E yeah. E Okay, that's good. Good. Happy with the results of that, I guess. This guy is not gonna know what hit his house. We've just been in here. Destroying everything. He thought we were asleep and we were like, damn it. Up and ready for action. I thought you were going to be sick again, Nomad. Are we in civilization? He won't jump for some reason. Or shoot his gun. Oh, he will jump, he just won't. That's us. You are here. Oops. Good. Warp here anytime using the map. How do we do that? Click. E. I sure is lazy, Nomad, going all the way back there. I'm sorry, I keep calling you Nomad. Drifted, drift, drifty guy. Some kind of drift fellow. Dog. Oh, look at this. The cutest dog ever. I saw Shivina the other day and it fucking chewed the shit out of my hands. Come here, doggy. Where did it go? What's this? Oh. 
Really? Oh, look at that. We did make it. Good. I've always wanted that. Ah, oh, no, Madge. You fucking dumbass. Come on. I hear there are some somewhat frustrating mechanics that can emerge in this to do with your health. I'm reading the Steam reviews. Apparently, if you get to like, low health, the game can become a little bit annoying. Look at those skulls in there. Dead. Dead. Ow. Fuck you. Jumping bullshit. Having none of that, please. I guess we need to get the pink slime. What do you reckon? Can we stand on that? No. No. Don't be stupid. Of course we can't stand on that. Why would you even think that we could? That's stupid. Completely stupid. Not worth considering. Look at this robot. We're in his crotch. Not the first time I've said that. Today. Good. Good, we got something. I'm happy about that. Let's go over here. Right. Can we use the gun? Oh, we can. I'm a fan of guns. Except when you don't have enough ammo to shoot them all the time. Look at these guys. They look like they were having sex, cheeky mates. Oh, wow. That, that exploded. Don't shoot those in the future. Those are fucking bad. Oh god. Oh no. Whoops. Uh, heal. Yes. Oh, excuse me. My voice went all. I want to jump on that. There we go. At least the movements are kind of simple. If it was complicated, I would be awful at that. Yes, come on. Come on, Drifter Man. You got it. You got this. Look at this. I don't really see any reason to go over there. I don't want to go in the water. I can only imagine bad things happen in the water. Like drowning and death. Some kind of ancient, mysterious temple. Very. I love I love the aesthetics of this. It's really it's it's really pretty, and it has a strange kind of disconnect between the what seems to be somewhat, if not violent, at least uh, yeah, kind of apocalyptic. Oh, look at that! It's that guy. What's this? A thing. We destroyed it. It went away. Let's go in the gazebo. Can we go in the gazebo? No. The gazebo is not for us. Hey, buddy. What's going on over here? Why did you do that? Yes. Oh, yeah, well, um... Yeah. She's a real keeper. I'd say. Yeah, I would, um... I would say, yeah, definitely don't worry about taking that home to your parents. Oh my god. It's like Zelda. Yeah, I see that. So what, do we need to go destroy that? Yeah, I can do that. Mission mission accepted, mate. I'll have it done in no time. Just like George Bush. He said he was going to be the best president I ever was. And then he was. Oh, what's going on here? Look at this guy. Ow. Oh god. I have no bullets. Oh god. No mad, come on. Ah, oh, I think we died. Well. Come on, Nomad. Okay. Come on. Oh shit. 
Oh god, shitting is just a bad idea, man. Oh! Fuck off, mate. Shitting is just bad news. Can we destroy that big pile of dead? No, we can't. Oh well. We, 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 we beat them. We did well. I think. I'm not sure that our protagonist is going to agree with my... Oh shit. We fell in the war and died. I didn't even see it. I'm not sure our protagonist thinks that I did very well in that fight. But hey, what does he know? He's a fucking... He doesn't even say anything. He's just like... He's like the Gordon Freeman of everything. He doesn't even have a gun to talk to. He's just... He's just here. In this uh, broken up city. Can we... No, that's a bad idea. That's not going to work. I know that's not going to work. Uh, yeah, let's not jump on that. That doesn't look like a fun time at all. Let's go... Down here. See, it's trying to trick you. It's trying to trick you, thinking, yeah, I can jump on that. What does that mean? Good. Did we, did we do it? I guess, I guess we did. Good. Good stuff. Now well, shut up. Um, okay, well, uh, this is um, already engrossing me a little bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna pause here um, and we'll cut this episode at this point. I also wanna make sure it doesn't look like complete bollocks. So uh, this has been um, the first episode of Hyper Late Drifter, Nomad's prequel. Thanks for watching, everybody.